I'm in the center of Helsinki and I've come across a mathematical phenomenon. That's right, here in the center of town, if you look down, you will see a bit of mathematics history. What you're looking at is kite and dart tiling, or in this case, paving. There was a prize in mathematics for anyone who could come up with a mathematical proof of the minimum number of tiles that could be put together in an infinitely varying yet tessellating sequence. And the prize was eventually claimed and the result was two. And the two shapes are the kite and the dart. Now the kite is this shape here. I'm going to put my foot in the centre of one. Should you be interested in constructing one of these yourself, here are the angles that you'll need. Of course, you can make it any size you want. The dart is a little bit harder to see because here they've broken it up into three bits. But can you see these, these paler three bits of stone come together to make a dart shape? And here are those angles again. I think the reason they divided the darts into three parts was for ease of manufacture. It meant that they could just saw them out of a slab and there was no internal angle to worry about. And these two shapes can be put together in an infinite variety, constantly tessellating. And uh, one of the prizes uh, awarded to the mathematicians who came up with the final proof was that they uh, had a contract with a tile manufacturer that agreed to make their tiles. Uh, and you would think, wouldn't you, that the bathrooms around the world would then be tiled in this infinitely interesting manner. And yet it seems that the square and rectangular tile still dominates. But perhaps we can change that and bring an infinite variety of bathroom tiling to the world. It was 1974 that Roger Penrose, a British mathematician, now Sir Roger Penrose, Order of Merit, Fellow of the Royal Society, solved the riddle. And well done to you, sir. Slightly disappointingly, you can't just put the tiles next to each other any old how and expect infinite variety. There are certain rules. You may think that, for instance, these two tiles are just aching to meet like this, but then you get a boring rhombus and the infinite variety is destroyed. Instead, you must obey certain rules. And to make this easy, the tiles can be labelled with swathes of colour, and then those swathes of colour themselves create more infinite variety of patterns which can get quite psychedelic. I'm guessing that the designers were a little disappointed in the number of manhole covers that had to be incorporated into the pattern, and uh, they do make it a bit of a mess. I've known about these tiles for most of my life, and I've been keeping an eye out for them, and this is the first time I've ever sighted them in the wild. Lindy Bay!